Okay, so in this first video, I'm going to show you um, some of the things that you can do with exam view. So once you um, download exam view onto your computer, uh, you're going to see an icon very similar to this one right here. I'm just trying to kind of move it out of the way here. So this is the exam view test generator. And we're going to click on that. And first thing I'm going to show you is if you want to type your own test, uh, so, so for example, you want to create your own pre-post test without using the test bank. When we go into exam view, you're going to choose create a new test. Click OK. You're going to give it a title. Let's say, for example, pre-test and click OK. <clears throat> and then click OK here. So you basically get a blank canvas that you can work with. So down here in the bottom left corner, there is a button that says New. When I click on the New button, <clears throat> I get a list of options, a list of the types of questions that I can create. So you can do True, False, Multiple Choice, Short Answer, Matching, pretty much anything that you would do with any other type of test. So let's do a true false question. So it's already marked true false. So I'll click OK. And let's say I want to type a, just a simple question. The sky is blue. Down below on my answer, I pick either true or false. And I click record. Now let's say I want to do a multiple choice question. So I click on New, click on Multiple Choice, just click OK. So now I get my template here. So on my other screen, I actually have a Word document with some test questions. I'm just going to copy and paste it over. So instead of having to type it, I click here above these boxes and either type my question. I'll take that number one off of there type my question and then I can copy and paste or type in my answers. Okay, so I'm going to put my answers in. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm going to choose the correct answer. So let's say, for example, uh, let's say the answer was A. So I'm going to click on A. So that tells the computer that's my answer. And then I'm going to click the record button. Okay, it looks like I may have had a, okay. So if I ever want to edit a question after I've typed it, I can click on that question. It'll highlight it in yellow and then I can edit. And let's see if I can bring this spacing back a little bit because it looks like there was a little bit of problem with the spacing. Okay, so uh, you type up all of your questions. What it is going to do is at the bottom, it's going to generate your answer key at the bottom. Okay, so when you're done, you're going to just save that test on your computer, just like saving a Word document. You'll do a file, save as, choose the name of the test, and choose a folder or a place on your computer where you're going to save it. Okay, so that is one of the ways that you can utilize the exam view test generator. Now, I'm also going to show you how to use the tests that are already in there. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of it and then go back into it. So this time I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a test from the test bank that's already in there. So once again, <clears throat> I'm going to log in and uh, let's do a little trial and error here. It's been a while since I've done this. I believe the one we're going to choose is create a new test using the quick test wizard. So we're going to choose that one and click OK. 
Okay, once again, I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it Practice Test. Click Next. Okay, so now uh, what happened is when you downloaded the test bank, it downloaded all the chapters. So for this particular book, we can go through and we can see all of the chapters. So let's say I want to do a, ch a test on chapter three. I just simply click on chapter three. Or maybe I want to do chapter three and four and put them all into one test. So I'm going to use the control key and hold it down and that allows me to click on more than one chapter. So I could even do three chapters or five or whatever. So I'm going to choose chapter three and four and I'm going to hit select. And then what it did is it moved those chapters down here to this bottom window, which is the window that tells you which chapters you've chosen. And I'm going to click next. So what I have now is I've built a whole test that has 20 true false, 45 multiple choice, 33 completion. Well, let's say I only want my test to be true, false, and multiple choice. So I'm going to click, I'm going to type in 20 out of the 20 for true, false, 45 out of the 45 for multiple choice, and leave the completion as zero. Then I click next. So I've got a total of 65 questions, and then I'm going to click finish. So bam, right there is the test that you just generated. Very similar to what we saw when we created our own test. So what I can do now is I can go through here. I can read questions. I can, let's say I don't like this question right here. I click on it and highlight it. And I just want to get rid of it, so I delete it. Let's say this question, I want to edit it and maybe I want to change the wording a little bit so I, I retype something and I'm just gonna just do something very simple I'm gonna record it to save it and now I've edited that question once again at the very bottom you get your uh, answer key now this answer key would be very useful if you were um, doing this in a face-to-face -face class and you were going to use it to grade but when we put these in Blackboard, that answer key um, is not going to show up on the student end. So once again, we've created a test. You take the time to go through, read the questions, change the questions, do whatever you want to. You know, we have 65 here. Maybe we want to take it down to 40, so decide which ones we want to delete. Once we're done, we're going to do, once again, File, Save As. So we're going to save that test. We're going to name it. Um, I usually name the test either week one exam or exam chapter five, six, seven, whatever. Make sure you know where you save it on your computer. And then that's how you use the exam view test generator. So I'll make another video showing you how to take that exam view test and upload it to Blackboard.